Morning guys, hope you're all well. I just want to show you a, uh, a little hack for fixing uh, punctures on your ride on mower. Do you want to explain what we did with this uh, tyre? We had a slow puncher, didn't we? Yeah, the slow puncher. Uh, I managed to find out where it was when I was cleaning the deck. And uh, we've marked and we've put a bit of super glue on it. Yeah. So, so what you did, didn't you? You was cleaning it and then when we had the water on the tyre, you could see the bubble coming up, couldn't you? Yeah. Where the air was coming out. So it was only a slow puncher. And then you um, you put some Tipex on there. Yeah, to just, mark it. Just to mark where it was. And then you, you put the ride on away, didn't you? And um, let some air out the tyre, is that yeah, right? let some air out the tyre. Yeah. And then uh, make, make sure it was on the top as well. Make sure it was on the top. Let yeah. some air out of the tyre. And then put some super glue on it. And you put some super glue on it, yeah. Let it go off. And uh, you did that again the second day, didn't you? Put a bit more. I did, yeah. Put some more, more super glue on it. Okay, so this is the moment of truth now. See if the air's been leaking still. So, uh, what was it 20 psi yesterday on the back tyres? Uh, just over 20, it was. Let's just see if it's gone down since. So where are we now? 20. 20 psi so that's been left um, more than 24 hours hasn't it yeah and no more airs come out of it i mean we could put a bit of water on there now just to see if um see if there's any bubbles or anything coming out have we got any water put a bit of water on see what happens so far so good looking good mike that is yeah yeah we'll keep an eye on it though won't we oh yeah definitely yeah. So Mike, now he's just going to go around and check all the tyres. This is how I fixed the puncher in the, in, in the past. It's been quite a long time since I've had a puncher. And one of the reasons I haven't had a puncher a long time is because I do a lot of regular jobs. So after you've done the job a few times, you um, you know there's nothing in the ground that's going to give you a puncher. But um, years ago, I used to do more one-offs, uh, especially when I just got the tractor because you're trying to get more business. But I learned after a short while, uh, one-offs aren't really that good to do, especially if it's really long grass and it's um, like a small field or something like that, that you really don't know what's in, in this ground. And when you do get the punches, no customer is ever going to offer to pay for the repairs. So um, my advice with ride on mowing, just do regular work. Um, a lot of these one-offs don't turn into regular jobs. They just want you to get them out of trouble until they either get their mower back from being repaired or... Um, or go and buy their own ride on mower or even get somebody else to do it to be fair so i don't recommend you ever do this with cars we only do this with the ride on mower um you're not traveling on, on the road so it's not going to be dangerous you know if it doesn't work you're only on the grass so it doesn't matter good job Mike. that seems to have done the trick that yeah it seems to yeah 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 what's that thing you was telling me earlier about the the fuel oh yeah the fuel is changing to be it's E5 at the moment, and it's changing to E10 on the 1st of September. So um, we've got to make sure that we get the right stuff for the machines, basically. Yeah, so basically carry, in, carry on using the same fuel yeah, we was before. Yeah, when you go, just make sure you get the, yeah, yeah. the E5, not the E10, because yeah. it's a wrecking machine. Okay, yeah, so we're thinking about that. Good little uh, point for Mikey there, uh, for any of you guys. Um, you heard on the radio the other day that they're changing the fuel for the petrol pumps. Lovely weather, isn't it, today, Mike? Great weather. It does. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, if you found this video useful, please give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you later.